Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Next Goal Wins. Leicester play tonight against Hull in the League Cup. Hull obviously flying pretty high in the Championship at the moment. Kept a lot of their squad together from the relegation team that, that, that went down last season. I mean Huddleston's still there, Abel Hernandez, Andrew Robertson, Davis, everyone really. They, they managed to hold on to El Mohamedy, everyone really. And, Obviously, they're in really good form. They haven't lost since the 12th of September, I think, in the uh, Championship. They lost to Brighton, who obviously are flying high as well in that. But they've gone on a really long, unbeaten run, picking up some really, really good results and winning uh, their most recent game. So it's not going to be an easy fixture. Obviously, we're away from home, and historically, we, we don't really do brilliantly away at Hull. Obviously, we beat them last season in a, a massive, massive win for us, which kind of projectiled us towards what ended up being our, our brilliant running thanks to that Mares goal but sometimes we don't do well against Hull we didn't when we were in the championship but that needs to change if we want to carry on in the cup what has Ranieri said then about the game he said we are going to be playing the players like we have in the other cup games the players who don't usually feature so expect to see your Cranriches, your Ujoas, Inla and you know, people like that I mean the thing is we have still got a strong team even if those lot play if Chilwell plays for example we've got a strong team I still think we're, we're more than capable of winning this game, despite not having kind of the Premier League quality players, I guess, uh, on show. Uh, I mean, Hull, I'm not sure what team they're going to play, to be honest. I'd like to think that they're going to play a strong team because it's kind of an upset for them if they can do it. Uh, but sitting second in the league on 25 points, promotion's key for them with the money coming in next year to the to a Premier League. Will they want to focus more on the league? Will they kind of feel cup football is a bit of a distraction? I mean, for us, we're sitting really, really pretty, obviously, in the Premier League at the moment, so cup football arguably isn't a distraction at the moment, it's just another game under our belt, and obviously the players playing aren't the ones who feature in the Premier League, so it's not kind of like they need to keep their form going through every competition. So, Hull, what kind of team will they play? I expect it to be their first team, I've said that. I think they're going to go for the strongest team and go for it, despite the, where they stand in the Championship, and if I was a Hull fan, I'd kind of want that. Maybe... To an extent, I wouldn't. Like when uh, I remember a few seasons ago when we were getting promoted and we had Stoke in the Cup, and that was a, such a blessing in disguise to lose to them in the Cup. But Hull, I think, will be going for it. They'll go kind of all guns blazing and want to win the game just because it's Premier League opposition. They're at home, it, it's a big chance to progress in the Cup. And Hull have obviously done well in Cups in recent years. Leicester, though, what do I want to see from us? I want to see a goal for a striker. That's one thing I really want to see because Graham Rich and Ujo have come into the team when it's been cup games, obviously in the last round against West Ham they came in and didn't really have too much of an impact, so Cranridge, I need to see something from him, I keep going on about he should be on the bench and stuff and I can't keep justifying that unless he does something when he gets an opportunity, so tonight is a massive opportunity for him, Dodo I imagine will play again, obviously he's got goals in both his cup games so far, hopefully he can carry that on and, and really kind of push on for a place on the bench I guess in the starting lineup because he won't be starting obviously but and keep kind of his place in the cup squad I suppose. I'd like to see Chilwell maybe get a chance at left back so obviously Fuchs and Schlupp have both been playing in league games now so it's not like we can play one of them and the other one has rest. They've both been playing so it'd be interesting to see what that fronts. I'd like to see him play because he impressed for me on pre-season so maybe he can do something. A clean sheet isn't really important, and I don't think Ranieri will think it's important. At the end of the day, staying in the cup competition isn't massively important, but it's important to fans in a way, because it's been a long time since City have kind of done something in the cup as well as the league. It's kind of been either or, and I know we got kind of quarterfinals a few years ago and quarterfinals a few times recently, but we haven't really progressed to where we can get to. A cup is a massive opportunity, and especially this year. If you win the, the League Cup, you're in European football. I mean, that's a, a kind of... A reward that not many people will get and the big teams don't look at the cup, League Cup especially as a competition that's massive. You've seen Swansea won it recently, Bradford got to a final. So I really think Leicester, we have got a chance and I'm sure Hull will feel the same. They've got a chance to really get win a cup in the League Cup. It is the one that people look at as, oh this is the one we could win despite the FA Cup obviously being won by smaller teams in recent years as well like Wigan and Cardiff, and Portsmouth sorry, and Cardiff getting to a final. But I, I do think this is a good opportunity for us, but <clears throat> as I said earlier, it won't be easy. Hull are a real top quality side for championship level. I mean, like you said, they've got Huddleston in there. They've got players who caused us problems last year in the Premier League, who arguably will cause us problems again. Abel Hernandez is their top goal scorer, 7 in 11 in the championship. Huddleston's played nearly every game. Dawson's still at the back. Curtis Davis still at the back. So 
that full kind of spine of their team leading forward is the same as it was in the Premiership. So it's going to be a really tough game. I expect Hull to put up more than a, a suitable battle for us. And I think it all comes down to how much they want it. Do they want it to deter from what they're doing in the league or would they rather concentrate on the league and the cup at the same time? It's just kind of what mindset Bruce sends them in with. And however they feel, I guess, going into it is how the game will be reflected. I'm sure Ranieri wants to progress in the cup. He spoke about wanting to do well in the cup before. He probably has seen what O'Neill did in the cup when he was there and how much that's remembered. I mean, we remember O'Neill for being brilliant in the league and the cup respectively in seasons. And I know we never had games like Hull when we were under O'Neill, a lot of his getting to the, to the final of the League Cups, especially we had Premier League opposition every single round and that's to knock them out on penalties. So this could be a real opportunity to progress into the next few rounds. Obviously, eventually we'll get teams like Man City and things like that if we progress, but at the moment we can beat those teams. And if it comes down to it and we want to start playing our first team, if we get to the quarterfinal or semi-final, then that can happen. Last year, when we got knocked out by Aston Villa, we were poor in the FA Cup and I don't think we're going to be like that this year. We were, our squad was in transition, we didn't really know what was going on. Obviously we had the massive results against Tottenham in the Cup last season and Newcastle at home but this year we really have got a chance to go deep into the competition and make something of ourselves. Like I said, I want to see Inla have a good game as well as Cranbridge. I think Inla obviously hasn't been playing in the league because Drinkwater and Kante have been so excellent in there and to think we're leaving out Inla still something that boggles the mind but Inla if he has a good game tonight and he's spreading the ball around, he's keeping control of the game, then Ranieri will see that and kind of push him for a place in the starting lineup because he hasn't done that in Premier League games. His passing hasn't been consistent. Conte and Drinkwater have fared much better than him, so he really needs to kind of cement a place. Ben Loani, the same, needs to do something to prove that he can play. And these players need to kind of do something. Schwartz obviously doesn't really matter because he's not going to get a chance, but... My main thing is, as I spoke about earlier, Ujoa and Kramich have got to do something because if they ever want to play in this starting lineup again with Mares now featuring as a striker, Okazaki obviously is third choice and Vardy easily first choice, then Kramich and Ujoa, one of them is getting left off the bench every single week. So I'm not sure if Ujoa is still injured tonight. He might be, so he might not play, but Kramich especially has to make an impact. He has to do something. He's an international. We paid a lot of money for him. This is a game where he can seize it in cup competition and really make a name for himself under Ranieri. Ranieri sees stuff in training we don't see as fans and maybe Cranbridge is lacklustre in training or he doesn't try as hard but tonight we will get a chance to see what he's like. I'm not sure how many of us will be making the trip up to Hull. If not you can watch it on stream and website so hopefully there'll be a way of, of watching the game live for everyone. You don't have to watch the rubbish highlights show that's on at two o'clock in the morning or whatever it is but I do think we've got a real chance of this game. I think we're going to win the game. I'm going for 2-1. I think our second squad is still strong enough to beat Hull. And it will be playing on Bruce's mind. But, well, I mean, you know, if we go out of the cup, it's not the end of the world. We still want to get promoted. That is objective number one, like ours it was to stay up at the start of the season. So, I do think we're going to win the game. I feel like the goal will, one of the goals will come from Cranbridge. I'm backing him. Cranbridge, do not let me down, Andre. I'm backing him to get a goal. Hull, I think their goal will go from Hernandez. He was threatening when we played him last season. Obviously, they paid a lot of money for him when he joined, but he was threatening last season when he when he came in. I remember the game we played him right at the end. There were so many shots kind of cleared off the line and stuff like that. But I think one of their goals will come from him. One of the keys for us is stopping Aluko down one of the wings and stopping El Mavadi down one of the wings and then getting to Huddleston so he can't play the balls, which he's been doing since his Tottenham days in the Premier League. But, as I said, I think we are going to win the game. Hopefully we can. The review will be on straight after kickoff as soon as it's uploaded and rendered. Please leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think the score will be. Leave a like on the video. Let me know you've enjoyed it and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Come on, City.